It's a full-time job. So the moment you sign a contract or the moment you have your eyes on an opponent or that you have a date for a fight, yeah. I would start visualizing. So on a daily basis, I would sit and I would travel in time, if you may mm -hmm. call it that. Eh? Yes. They call it visualization. But there is such a thing as traveling in time to a situation that doesn't exist yet. So I would travel in time every day and visualize what I wanted, mm. what I wanted. Mm. And I was also open to, of course, the input of your opponent, who is also visualizing what they want. It, this is the good thing about competition, in my perspective. You need your opponent mm. to bring out your potential. Yeah. So I definitely need them to visualize and work hard for me to bring forth my potential, whether it is a better focus, more commitment, uh, whatever it is that my gifts and talents are. So that's how I would start. So it started with the visualization. I would hear my name in the red corner. And then I would get all nervous because I saw these thousands of people. <gasps> that was the first day visualizing to get used to the tension and the fear. Mm. The moment you're on the spot and people expect and you expect something of yourself and you have to show it. So then you get used to that and slowly you start visualizing what you want. And sometimes it's not the outcome you want. And then you have to push, push and train. So you, in your visualization, you see what you want. And then in the meantime, you have to do the footwork, yeah. the training to yeah. manifest, to, yeah. to create it. Yeah.